reports emerge today that Ukraine could receive the German-made Iris TSLM surface-to-air missile system by November. The Ukrainian government has also expressed interest in acquiring more of these SAM systems over the coming years. According a trusted source, Germany is currently mulling over whether to send the system to Ukraine. Its manufacturer, Deal Defense, claims the Iris TSL guided missile at the heart of the system can hit targets up to 25 miles away at altitudes of up to more than 12 miles. That would add much needed capabilities to an aging Soviet era air defense arsenal Ukraine has already used to great effect to prevent Russia from achieving air superiority. That missile, according a trusted source, is based on its previously developed and widely deployed Iris T air to air guided missile. The company claims that selective adaptations, including a streamlined nose section, give it its enhanced range and altitude capabilities. Its thrust vectoring control enables maximum lateral acceleration directly after launch, thus allowing engagements of targets at very short range as well. It has an imaging infrared IR, seeker that allows for high-precision terminal approach with extraordinary direct hit probability. There is also a simpler SAM system that uses the standard IRIS-T missile called the IRIS-TSLS which has more limited capabilities. As it sits now, the more advanced IRIS-TSLM is the system being eyed to equip Ukraine's air defenders. The truck-mounted system has a multifunction radar, the ability to track multiple targets at once, and is designed to hit strategic bombers, fighter aircraft, attack helicopters, anti-radiation missiles, cruise missiles, guided bombs, drones, and large-caliber rockets. The missile is directed towards its target via a datalink. Once in close proximity, its imaging infrared seeker then acquires the target for the terminal phase of the engagement. Seeing as the missile itself has no active radar seeker, it cannot be jammed or confused by chaff and will not give direct warning of its approach via radar emissions. The fire control radar could potentially be detected though, or the missile could be guided to the general area of its target via a third-party sensor. A source said that a security source said Germany was considering selling Ukraine the system. Earlier Friday, Bild reported that the German Cabinet Security Council was discussing the matter and that the system could be deployed in Ukraine by November. Ukrainian troops could start training on the system in Germany once the Security Cabinet approves the delivery, Bild reported, adding that Ukraine wants 10 such systems, however, it's far from the answer to Ukraine's pressing needs. That number of systems, Bild reported, would take three to four years to produce. The Pentagon has repeatedly said that Russia still has not been able to establish air dominance in Ukraine. Much of that has to do with Ukraine's air defense systems. We would not assess that the Russians have air superiority over Ukraine, and we would still assess that the aerospace is contested," Pentagon spokesman John Kirby told reporters May 10. One of the reasons it's contested is because Ukrainians still have a viable air force of their own, and they also have a very effective air defense capability both short and long range. As proof, a senior U.S. defense official told reporters earlier that day that Russian pilots are wary of entering Ukrainian airspace. One of the reasons we know it's working is because we continue to see the Russians wary of venturing into Ukrainian airspace at all, and if they do, they don't stay very long," the official said, speaking on condition of anonymity to discuss intelligence matters. Almost all of them are launched and recovered inside Russia and they try to do these standoff strikes so that they don't have to enter Ukrainian airspace.